Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the XY-MDO2 sensor setting, Modbus RTU network. The XY-MDO2 temperature and humidity sensor uses Modbus RTU for communication. Modbus RTU or serial works as a master or client to slave or server communication protocol. To add this sensor to an existing network or as another unit number, you must first set it up. We will be using simply Modbus master software in demo mode to set up the parameters of the XY-MDO2 sensor. We will test the default values of the sensor and adjust the parameters for our network. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Hardware XY-MDO2 The USB port on our computer will use a USB to RS-45 converter. Installation of this software has been discussed in a previous post. The XY-MDO2 sensor will be powered up with 24 volt supply. Here is the picture of our configuration. The wiring of the XY-MDO2 sensor can be seen in the following diagram. The supply voltage of our sensor can be anywhere from 5 to 30 volts DC. RS45A plus will be connected to A plus and RS45B minus will be connected to B minus on the USB to RS45 converter. Our hardware can be found and purchased from Amazon affiliate links. Software installation XY-MDO2 Modbus RTU the WaveShare USB to RS-45 installation instructions are covered in the following post. This driver will assign the device a communication port or COM port. Using the device manager windows, you can see the communication port assigned to the USB to RS-45 converter. There are different ways to get to the device manager in Windows 11. Right click the start button or press the Windows logo plus X key combination on the keyboard and from the list click device manager. You can also search for device manager on a search bar. The Simply Modbus data communication test software is the easiest way to test and debug Modbus systems. Additional documentation can be found on the Simply Modbus website about Modbus. Select the RTU slash ASCII master emulation test software. Scroll down the page until you see the link to download the compiler 14. This is the latest version of the software. We are installing this on a Windows 11 64-bit computer. Select the download link. Once downloaded, right-click on the zip file and select Extract All. Use the default location and ensure that the Show Extracted Files when complete is checked. Select Extract. Double-click on the setup.exe file to start the installation. Leave the default file directories the same and select Next. A summary review is then displayed. Select Next to start the installation. Select Finish after the installation is complete. Select the Start on the computer and look for the new Simply Modbus Master 8.1.2 to start the program. The license not found loading demo will be displayed when the software starts. This software allows you to read or write six times in the demo mode. Simply close and open the software again for another six read or write times. Jerry from Simply Modbus Software has extended a 10% discount to all ACC automation readers. The following links are put onto our website at accautomation.ca. Please send me an email to request further discounts on multiple package orders. Software configuration XY-MDO2 Modbus RTU We will read the temperature and humidity to ensure that communication works as expected. The default parameters for the XY-MDO2 sensor are unit addresses 1, 9600 baud, 8 data bits, 1 stop bits, and no parity. Here is a Simply Modbus 8-1.2 interface. 
The first thing that we will do is read the temperature and humidity. Wabus RTU will be the mode for this communication. COM port 3 is used in our example based on the device manager indication. Our slave or server address is 1 and we will read 2 registers starting at address 1. The Modbus function code will be 4 with an offset of 0 for the address. 16-bit registers will be read. Once we select the send button, our returning data can be seen in the results. Note that one decimal place is understood. Changing the first register to 257, which is 101 hex, and setting the function code to 3 and reading 4 registers will show you the parameters for the XY-MDO2 sensor. This data represents the address number, baud rate, temperature offset, and humidity offset. Select the right button. The Simply Modbus Master right window will now be displayed. We will change the Modbus unit number and the baud rate. The first register will be 257 which is 101 hex, and we will write two 16-bit addresses. Function code 16 or hex 10 will be used to perform the write operation. Enter the values for both registers and select send. This will now set the new parameters into the sensor. Power must be cycled on the XY-MDO2 sensor for the new settings to take effect. Going back to the reading again, select Slave ID 2. We will now see that the Modbus address unit number has changed. We can then write the offset to the temperature and humidity sensor. Rereading the parameters will show us our changes. We can then go back and verify our temperature and humidity settings. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.